This video is a quick supplemental video to the Emporia Model Math videos to give you some tips and tricks to help with factoring trinomials to decide when to use a plus, when to use a minus, on which one. So what I want to look at is what the signs in the problem tell us. There's two signs in the problem, one in the middle and one in the last term. And those tell us a lot about our final answer. The last sign is really important to guide us. The last sign is going to tell us if the factors have the same sign. If this is a positive at the end, we will use the same sign, either a positive times a positive equals a positive, or a negative times a negative equals a positive, the same sign in our factors. If this is a minus, we have to use opposite signs. One of them is a positive, one of them is a negative, and we have to decide which is which. Now, this middle sign also tells us something. This middle sign is going to tell us the sign of the bigger product from the outside or the inside. Now, they may both be the same, but the bigger product, the sign should always be obvious from this middle sign. So let's take a look at four quick examples where we look at just that. Here we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. The last sign being a plus 3, a positive, tells us that both our factors use the same sign. The middle term being positive tells us that the bigger product is positive. In fact, since both signs are the same, both of them are positive. The other sign is also positive. So as I set up my factors to fill in, we can put the pluses in. And now we just have to figure out what numbers go where. Turns out this problem is 2x plus 3 times x plus 1. Let's look at another example. Here again, we've got a plus 6 at the end. This plus at the end tells us that both factors use the same sign. The minus 5 term, because it's negative, tells us the bigger product is negative. And as a bonus, since they're the same sign, the other one is negative as well. We know that both factors have negatives or minuses in them. And again, now we just have to fill in the numbers. This problem turns out to be x minus 2 times x minus 3. A third example would be 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. Now the last sign is negative. Because the last sign is negative, that tells us our factors have different signs. One is positive, one is negative. To help us decide which is which, we look at the other sign where we see a positive 11. This tells us the bigger product is positive. We don't know which one's the bigger product yet, though, until we figure out the numbers. So if we play with this a bit, we might try 2x and 5, 3x and 2. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 5 times 2 is 10. And then we can look at the outside. 2x times 2 is 4x. And the inside products, 5, 5 times 3x is 15x. We know that the bigger product is positive. So the bigger product, 15x, has to be positive. So we'll make the outside, the smaller one, negative a negative 4x. So the outside, we need to put the negative in the second factor. So we have 2x plus 5 times 3x minus 2. Notice 15x minus 4x is the 11x that we want in the middle. One last example looking at signs. Again, looking at the last term, we see it's negative. That tells us we have different signs. One is positive. One is negative. But for this problem, because the middle term is negative, that tells us the bigger product is negative. So we need to figure out which one's which. We'll play with some numbers. We might try 4x, 3, 2x, 1. Because 4x times 2x is 8x squared. 3 times 1 is 3. And we just need to make the bigger product negative to match the middle sign. 
Well, on the outside, 4x times 1 is 4x. On the inside, 3 times 2x is 6x. The bigger product is negative. 6x is negative. The smaller one must be positive. So the 6x is negative. That came from the inside, so we need to have a negative 3 and a positive 1. We've now found our factors. So that's what the signs can tell us. Hopefully that gives you some hints as you guess and check. The last sign tells us, are they the same sign? Positive yes, negative no. The middle sign is the sign of the bigger product.